Project Bismarck is an effort to measure access internet service provider performance from network gateways situated in home networks. It is a joint effort between Georgia Tech and the University of Napoli and is funded by Google and the National Science Foundation. High-speed broadband internet access is becoming increasingly prevalent in homes both here in the United States and also abroad. As this penetration increases, our goal is to make these networks perform better. Recent studies, however, have shown that access ISPs don't always perform as well as users want them to or as users expect. So the first goal of Project Bismarck is to study how these broadband networks perform. First, we want to help users and ISPs better debug and understand their performance. We want to help users figure out if they're getting what they're paying for, as well as monitor the performance of particular applications in the home, ranging from web browsing to video streaming to voice over IP. Ultimately, we want to install applications on the gateways that help users help themselves, helping them do things such as manage usage caps, debug performance problems, and improve security of their home network. While there are speed tests that exist already, these speed tests aren't really sufficient for measuring access ISP performance. For one, they're not continuous. They're a one-time measurement, and performance can fluctuate over time. The other shortcoming is that they may not measure the ISP performance directly. Here I've shown a speed test where a user has received about 4.3 megabits per second down. But when we take the same measurement from the gateway over an extended period of time, the measurement is significantly different. The measurements may differ for a variety of reasons, such as cross-traffic, other traffic that's going on inside the home network at the time the speed test was performed, or perhaps the performance of the wireless network inside the home. Bismarck attempts to address these confounding factors by taking measurements directly from the gateway device itself rather than from a host inside the home network. The Bismarck gateway sits directly behind the DSL or cable modem and performs continuous and direct measurements of the access ISP performance. Here is a list of the active measurements that the Bismarck gateway performs. Bismarck performs upstream and downstream throughput measurements, latency measurements, and measurements of both packet loss and jitter. Here's a picture of a Netgear Wonder 3700 running Bismarck in a home. Installing the Bismarck router is as simple as connecting the WAN port on the Bismarck router to the network port on the DSL or cable modem. The current Bismarck deployment runs on OpenWRT and is tested on the Netgear Wonder 3700. There are a number of current features on the gateway, including the ability to set up a guest LAN, the ability to apply different QoS or rate limiting settings, the ability to set up a caching web proxy. We will soon add other features such as ad blocking and the ability to track bandwidth usage per device. The current web interface is based on XWRT and allows a user to perform basic network operations such as setting the SSID as well as providing some basic interface to provide information about traffic utilization on the home network. Here, we've shown what happens when a user starts streaming a YouTube video. You can see that the traffic utilization goes up. When that movie is stopped, the network utilization goes back down. A user can access historical information about the performance of their home network at the network dashboard at networkdashboard.org. Clicking on Show Active Devices shows a list of Bismarck devices that are actively reporting measurements from different homes. Clicking on the device for a particular user's home network provides more information about the service plan the user has purchased, such as the upload and download rate for that user's service plan. Additionally, the interface shows the time range over which Bismarck has been reporting performance measurements from that home. A user can compare the upload and download rates that they expect to get with the actual rates by examining the upload and download throughput over a particular time range. Clicking on display plots the upload and download throughput over a given time range. The green line shows the download throughput and the blue line shows 
the upload throughput. If a user wishes to examine a particular region of time in more detail, they can simply highlight the plot to zoom in. The network dashboard also allows a user to examine other performance metrics, such as the latency in the last mile, that is the latency to the first hop outside the home, and the round trip time to a nearby server. In the future, we plan to add other features to the network dashboard, such as the ability to monitor traffic usage in the home over time. For example, a user might wish to see what applications are using most of the traffic in the home over a particular time interval. Clicking on display might show a breakdown of traffic usage by application. Interested parties can sign up to receive a Bismarck router at projectbismarck.net or simply install the Bismarck firmware on an OpenWRT-capable device.